Well, yeah, a potential new wrinkle in the saga of the 7000 series rail cars and really all of Metro's rail cars when it comes to the wheels. Could it be that the issue has to do with the tracks on the Metro system? All throughout Metro, there are a series of turns, curves, switches, and turnaround points on the tracks, each that could potentially put strain on the wheels of rail cars. Metro's safety watchdog, the Washington Metro Rail Safety Commission, just uncovered an engineer's report from around 2015 that talked about the problem of wheel migration, as it's known. That means wheels that move out of alignment. Metro Rail knew in 2014 or 2015 of a series of instances of wheel migration on its legacy rail cars, that is, the fleets prior to the 7000 series. So following along here, this means Metro was told that on some stretches of track, wheel movement issues could be a problem. Keep in mind, this is prior to the 7000 series derailment. Fast forward to today, and now Metro tells News 4 it wants to go line by line and check the tracks for any places where wheel migration could occur. And the idea is to ensure, you know, just a ton of layer of being conservative, that we want to catch even the smallest migration long before it would cause an issue. Because a wheel could migrate and not derail at all. So in so many ways, the complexity of a rail vehicle and the interface of not just track, but switches and how all that works is really complicated. Riders hearing the news? I haven't felt anything like that or experienced it, but now I'm scared. Well, I'm glad to know that they're being pretty cautious. So I'd like them to get, get the problem straightened out. Now Metro says it's now measuring wheels of rail cars on a daily basis to ensure that no wheels are moving out of place. There have been no recent reports of issues. Along the Metro system, Adam Tuss, News 4.